Hey guys, it's Rudix, and it's MMO Tuesday. Uh, today I have... I am not even... Oh, I'm not even sure what this game is. It's called Cabal. Uh, it's something completely random I found on Steam. Uh, hopefully... It is not awful, because so far it looks pretty awful. Um, pretty sure this is like Dungeon Siege level graphics, and Dungeon Siege level character creation. Because, uh, the character- I already made my character, as you can see here. It took all of maybe, like, 20 seconds. And in fact, it was, like, I spent a good 15 of it trying to, like, figure out how to even create a character. <laughs> uh, they gave you the option to, like, pick from, I think it was, like, three or four- Oh my gosh, this music's getting awesome. Alright, there was, like, three or four different, um like hairstyles that I got to sort through and then you pick a hair color and you pick your class which I'm not really sure what class I am um, dual wielding I love to dual wield so we're gonna try out dual wielding uh, but there's it was really not much to the actual character creation it was quite confusing um, I also decided that I'll alternate between making male and female characters so this last week I was a male character, this week I'll be female, next week I'll be male, that kind of thing. Um, that way everyone gets to see one of the two every week and whatnot. Uh, and with that, let me all tab here. Uh, we're going to go for three hours. Um, normally I would have a countdown, but we're going to see what it's like to count up this time. See if I like that any better. Since this is still, what, episode two, I guess? Let's see how I feel about counting up rather than counting down. Might get confusing, but I don't really care. Alright, so first thing here. Says, you will gain something new. Oh, hold on, let's, uh, go away. Sure. You will gain something new, such as a new skill or special ability, every time when you level up your battle style. Undergoing quests will help you have a better understanding about Nevereth. You will also wait. You will be also rewarded with a surprise for your effort. Are you here to get new quests? I am definitely here to get new quests. Welcome to Desert Stream. Although this colony is part of the Polis Juden on this cont, Huan, it is also a wait on this the continent. I guess that's what this supposed to be. Continent Huan, it is also a special government colony established under special orders by the Sage Sirius and under the direct jurisdiction of the Tower of Sages. It will serve the role of imparting to you news received from the Tower of and various information heard from the outside. But first and foremost, I shall help you to acclimate yourself. Oh, wait, acclimatize yourself? Is that a real word? To this place as quickly as possible. Sure, nice to meet you. I believe the first step would be to learn what is where, isn't that so? As the merchants are most familiar with this place, go and meet with them. Should prove to be of great help. By the way, you should have the map of this place as well as the GPS. If you press the M key to open the window, you'll see the location of each merchant in addition to the overall map. First, go and meet the armor dealer. Sure. Ooh, I can't. Alright. What a strafing animation. This is how I strafe IRL. Alright. Uh, and then the music stopped, and suddenly it's just wind. Whoosh. Almost as good as the music from Chrono Cross. I sell martial armor for use by bladers and wizards. Is that me? I think I'm a blader. I got two blades. Bladers. Oh yes, have you tried opening your inventory? When you want to open inventory, just press the button I. It is the hotkey for inventory. The hotkey for the inventory is I. Ooh. If you open your inventory, or namely your equipment window, you will find a helmet. You can equip it by dragging the item over to the head part shown on the equipment window using the left mouse button, or you can just right click the item. Press the O. Oh, Press the O hotkey to open the menu window and check the options button. If you check the View Helmet box in the Preferences tab, 
You'll be able to view your appearance with the helmet on. Interesting. Uh, equipping sturdy armor in full scale is more important to your protection than wielding a powerful weapon. Uh, I disagree, but okay. Take care to always suit yourself in armor that corresponds with your skill or weapon. Sure thing, bro. Alright, I? I have a helmet? Do I not have a helmet? What is this? Oh, martial training, martial helm. Alright, so I can right click that and it'll just automatically put it. Oh, oops. Uh, I want to see what my cool helm looks like. This better be the coolest helm of all time. Uh, display? Character helmet. Wow, what a helmet. Look at that. That is, in fact, definitely a helmet. I can see it with my imagination. Much like this music. Uh... I have farmer's tan, but hold on, hold on, hold on. This is important. I can't s scoot down. I have a farmer's tan on my butt. Maybe next time. You can only really tell when you're running. Well, you can only like rotate left and right, and like your up and down is limited to this much. Yeah. Garly. What an awkward battle system. I'm only pressing one button. It's interesting. Can I not? Is there not an auto attack? I can't, like, move either. Hold on. I am in. Wow. You are just in. When you when you click on something, it's like attack. I can't move. I'm not even like doing anything. What a game! I love auto battle. All right, this is basically dungeon siege. All right, go and hunt some garlies, which is called the Leo. Wait, go and hunt some garlies, which is called the leader of the garlies. Uh, use your new skill as much as possible. Where is skills? Oh my gosh. Is there... Hold on, look at this. We got the jukebox on screen here. Is there other... Uh... No jukebox only consists of one song. Um, okay. I hope it plays nothing but this song for the next three hours. Dude, how cool would that be? As this place is relatively new in its establishment, and due to the fact that it lies on the frontier, to date, connection has been made to only two other areas. Now that we're talking about this, would you like to go there? I shall go. Hello, and welcome to Green Despair. I hate this place. Well, actually, I like the sun. But this humid weather is ru ru uh, ruining... Wow, I can't read. Ruining my beautiful makeups. What? Are you surprised because I care for my looks? Hey, I may appear tough in this instructor uniform, but I am a woman, too. Most of my quests are related to my job. But sometimes you will be given special tasks, too. Sweet. Yes? Yet sent you here? I gotta give you an award for coming all the way down here for training. I have a little mission for you. Are you interested? Uh, of course. Then go get some rest. I will put together some useful information for you in the meantime. Uh... Okay. It's weird that she keeps pointing out the fact that she's a woman. Like, I don't care. I'm also a woman. As you can tell, we are both women. Buenos is Dias. El not English show. Social skill. Dance. There's three different dances. Oh man, check it out. 
Dances are the most part, whoops, important part of any MMO. Dance too, is so far as my favorite dance. Oh, there we go. <laughs> what a dance. I gotta try out dance three. Hello. Oh, I'm locked in place. Help! Alright, dance three. Alright, we're okay with this one. Wait, I needed to put that on my menu. Nope, we're gonna put it right there. So it's probably the greatest dance of all time. This is my mating dance. Alright. Uh, I did notice that this game, when I was reading that quest earlier, there was some Spanish in there. I'm unfamiliar with more than just a few basic Spanish words. Whoops. Oh my gosh. I, for some reason, thought I should take... When I was in high school, I was like, I'm gonna take French. That'll be useful. It has never once been useful. Point at a direction. Point. Wow. What? Hold on. These are some good emotes. Tee hee hee. All right. Affection. I like the icon for affection. Talk to the hand. Right. <laughs> um. Just stab myself through the face. It's probably fine. Oh my gosh. All of these are awful. How could they send me here? <laughs> I'm too old and weak to stay in this cold area. As an instructor, I'm not only selling skill books, I am always paying attention to what is happening around me. Are you old? Well, you're old now. So you were the fighter whom Kalua mentioned. You completed the mission in Green Despair, did you not? This place is called Bloody Ice. It is a violent place where monsters are powerful as the biting cold live. If you share the gold to become a strong fighter, I shall provide you with a mission. Sure. Your mission will be to hunt a rabbit thorn. Do you think you can do it? I don't want to fight rabbits. I love rabbits. Is this guy wearing the Kill Bill outfit? I said Kill Bill outfit, fully knowing that Bruce Lee won at first. We're going to still call it the Kill Bill outfit. Oh gosh. Yeah. Green despair. Hmm. Interesting. Ah, oh, tree. I click that killed me. Oh. Well, we're teleporting right here. Go to desert. Bling. I like this whole just teleport. This is one of the things I really enjoyed about Terra. When I actually paid for premium in Terra, which was like a billion years ago. I don't know why, I mean, what, uh, what is premium service? It says I have premium service, but I've, I'm gonna assume that's just, like, a month thing. Your first month is premium. Because I don't remember paying for anything, and I sure hope I didn't. That would be, that would be terrible. Uh, no, I don't plan to get naked. That is against Twitch rules. Uh... Defeat the monsters. I have four minutes. Uh, there are no monsters. Uh, hold on. I don't press anything. It just like automatically starts using skills at random. Yeah, I'm not pressing anything. It's using one and two at random. Just use two and one. Yo, put some three in there. Periodically. Mm, nice. Yo, Techie. 
Hey, come over here. I heard that there is a very talented one among the colony trainees. You fit the description. Hmm. You look free. Do you want to do some volunteer work? Sure. Can you see the red galleys running around over there? Recently, a liquor showed up, and the number of them is increasing rapidly. The right. number of them is increased rapidly. Oh my god. This game. <laughs> Whoever was in charge of translating needs to be fired. Also, they're causing so much trouble for the residents here. They complain to our guards every day. It's giving me a hard time. I want you to kill the red young garlies. Okay. This item is expensive. What? It's worth zero. I don't understand. Ah. Uh, oh. Time to auto battle my way to victory. Think about life. Uh oh. All right, here he goes. Yeah, what? Failed. Oh my god. The game basically just goes on autopilot. I love autopilot in RPGs, but in MMORPGs, this is a little weird to me. Uh, I feel like you could just like get up go take a shower and come back. We're gonna live tweet on my Twitter, at Frickly Rabbi. Cabal has an auto battle system. What a great enemy. Look in my mail. Three silver tokens inside. Okay. How do I check? Report, return, move. Uh, unless something comes up, like randomly at one second left. Eee, eee. Shout outs to F22 Raptor, 1986. I'm gonna assume he was born in 1986. They're telling me to upgrade my skills. Oh, there's somebody else here. Oh, we cleared the dungeon. Hey! Clear dungeon. Woo! Yeah. Auto everything. I don't even, like, I just go into battle. And I raise my hands up in the air. Like, I just don't care. And we win. We're gonna do it again. Yeah! What a extreme something hmm. where am I Hello, are you level three where am I um, okay oh hey people in town dancing oh yeah like bodyguard who door here he's also dancing what a dancer All right. ah you came these days it's really busy here Damage was overwhelming due to the Thieves' Guild robbing merchant groups, so all human power of the colony and the pol polis were assigned to take the Thieves', thieves Guild down. That weakened the public order, and the number of zombies drastically increased. Then there came the epidemic, and people went missing. We thought there would be some relationship among the increase in zombie number, the epidemic, the people going missing, so we asked for the sample analysis and ex anxiously waited for days, and it's finally out. The result report from Heels supposed to be arrived by now. Hmm. Did you? All right. Let me see. Oh my! Contagious virus and zombies blood. So zombie is the cause of the epi or cause of wait. Zombie is the cause of epidemic. It's complicated. I see. Thank you for coming all the way out here to danger such a dangerous place. Bling. Welcome. After listening to the result from you, I've been organizing my thoughts. I don't think this is a simple matter with zombies just spreading disease. The number of zombies increased. People infected went missing. The zombies blood contains virus. Think about it. If it was simply zombies spreading disease, some things cannot be explained. Why did the number of zombies increase and where did the infected people disappear to? 
it's not this is not rocket science like um, hello the people became zombies like the infected people are now zombies we have no human resource at colony to investigate this we should go to ghost cabin zombies habitat contains a clue to confirm their interest zombie maid well hello nurse I need to use up all of my SP. Wow, I just had to kill one guy in there. What a good use of my heart. Go to Bloody Ice. Alright, we're back in Bloody Ice. We will also dance with these people while I go to the bathroom. Dance Jolly. I will return momentarily. Hopefully less than two minutes. Is that true? Zombies, mage, and bandits were together with missing people. And this necklace, this belongs to weapon merchant Puet's nephew, who has recently become missing. This was found with zombies? Personality asked Puet. Can you not, at this point, have figured out that the zombies are the people? Do you not know how zombies work? Are zombies such a mystery in this world? Anyways, this is unfortunate, but I'm afraid my assumptions are true. Pruitt made that nexus you bought by welding between each bead one by one and gave it to his nephew. There is no knot, so this necklace does not come off. If the zombies had this necklace. Wait, the necklace was on a woman. I just want to point that out. It was one of the maids. If the zombies had this necklace, it means that the number of zombies increased because infected patients broke up became zombies. Oh my gosh, I'm so shocked. It's hard to believe. It is true. It's cruel, but Colony Union and Paula's department decided to stop this matter before the epidemic is spread all over Neverith. Patients in quarantine outside the colony are turning into zombies or already become zombies. We are the burning the corn. It's cruel, but there's no other choice. Would you help me? Consider it saving a great, greater number of lives. Sure, why not? Thanks. I'll give you the torch to burn the quarantine. I'm sorry to give you this task, but what can we do? I'm asking you for a favor. Wait. In case you failed the mission, please come see me again. Um, okay. Kill zombies. That's the most confusing quest of all time. Hello. Hey. Okay. Wow, this is such a weird game. They just kind of like put all the tough monsters right next to the not so tough monsters. Oh, yeah, just run right through there. It'll be fine. I'm going to die. I apparently died. Ugh. That thing wrecked me. Hey. That was tough. Belt of Golden Toad. I have a belt. Ooh, this thing. Full screen it up for a second here. All right, so that was Cabal Online. Um, didn't really feel like an online kind of game. It felt a lot more like uh, I was playing like Dungeon Siege or something like that. Really, um, or one of those style of games. It was kind of fun, sort of. I probably would have enjoyed it a lot more if there wasn't something wrong with my tooth. Uh, there's like something stuck in there, and I can feel it, and I need to get it out, and it's giving me a headache. Uh, but otherwise, it was it was okay. I wouldn't really... I, I'll never play it again. But um, I'd definitely give it like an average score out of a semi-average score. Uh, but it definitely was not very... MMO, or at least what I'm used to. I guess it's more like uh, Guild Wars or something like that, where it's all just like these like weird hubs or something. Um, but it's definitely interesting, and I'm sure if I, once you start to get 
more and more moves it probably, or even maybe some of the other classes are a lot more interesting to play than the one I had. Uh, but I do feel it was a lot less... Um, I don't want to say repetitive because it was very repetitive. I enjoyed it definitely a little bit more than uh, Arcade, which is what I played through last week. Uh, but anyways, that's it. Um, my mic appears to be off by like 0.5 seconds. I hope that hasn't been going on for too long, but we'll see. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and see you guys next week.